Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sherman Moody, and today I'm going to do a full review on the Genesis Hellfire electric skateboard. So let's get straight into the video. So it's going to come in the box like this. It says Genesis Hellfire G2 or the G2 Hellfire. And if you open it up, it'll basically just look like this. Now it's going to have a charger cord, so it's going to look like this guy. It's going to have uh, three little prongs in it, so basically just point into the skateboard. And then once it's red, it'll say it's just charging. Once it's blue, basically just means that it's just there, just kind of waiting for you to charge it. Um, and then it does come with a remote. And the remote's gonna basically look like this guy. So it's kind of a small remote, kind of nice, kind of easy. Uh, then I'll show you guys, uh, right actually right now, like how to use a remote and then kind of go from there. here in this little guy that's basically where you charge it so it's kind of a little compartment you basically just put this over and then on the other side you can have this little guy right here and you basically just press a couple times it'll pop on and then once it's blue it'll tell you that it's on and basically the way to check like how much is charged is going to be on the board so right now it's at 100% and then basically 75, 50, and then 25. So I haven't like uh, used the board like like for the 100% exactly. I've just used about 50% of it since I don't like go a lot of places kind of this area. Um, but we'll show you guys like how to use remote like right now. So we'll get into that. Okay, and then for the uh, skateboard, you're basically gonna turn it on. So this is gonna be off, turn on, and then you're gonna do this for to go forward. And then basically it'll stop, and then if you want it to go reverse or the other way, you're gonna hit this little thing right here, and I'll give you the red light, and then you hit that, and it'll go backwards. So basically it's kind of a um, manual to go back and forth, and then this is just for to go forward and to go back. I will give a little test run so you guys can see like how smooth it is. So with driving it, it's a little bit different on this road because it is like, it's asphalt, but then they put a bunch of like rocks in it. So it's a little harder to go with it. The board can kind of swerve off and it's a little bit hard to balance, but that's probably just me. Um, it does ride a lot like nicer just on just, just asphalt and just plain, like there's no rocks or nothing, which is, which makes sense. Like if like you're going super fast, you kind of just have to like slowly do it. Cause like it's a very slow brake. So like once you hit that brake, it's basically just going to stop. So it is a little scary, so we'll do a test drive like to show you guys like right now how it works and everything. So let's get into it. So I'd say probably 4.5 out of 5 for the review. Uh, the only 0.5 is because of the brake system, it's very sensitive so you have to be very careful on it. But other than that, it's a nice board uh, to give it a try you guys. If you have any comments or anything, just feel free to comment below and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.